Thursday morning. I had to go to work, fucking work getting in the way. But Rick's here. How are you, Rick? Morning. So we're starting to uh, cut her up, mate. Yep, absolutely. Right, eh? Doing the uh, oh. tub today. Cool. I'll be back at Smoko. You'll have it done. Yep, all finished. <laughs> all right, all I'll right. see you in a bit. So I've got to go off to work, so I'll go and do that and I'll let Rick loose on that. All right, he's gutted it. Having fun, aren't you, mate? Yeah, absolutely. Just digging in now. So you need nearly ready to chop it, eh? Yeah, that's right. So I'll just uh, run a line down here now and section that and bring that over here. Excellent. Well, don't let me get in your way. No, I'll just keep moving forward now. Yeah. Both inner tubs out, and he's just getting them all ready so he can patch them up and uh, make a strip up and weld it back in. So he's got them all chopped out um, and all ready to go in. He's, um, he took the uh, inner panels home with him, and he's just panel beating the uh, the ribs out of the side to give it some more clearance. Um, you can see he's. I've got the wheels on it at the minute because I've got to move it, but he's tacked all the, the chassis back together. Um, there. Ready for it to go back in. And uh, he's cut all this out because there's a bit of rust there. So he's cut all that out. He's going to put new uh, bits in here. And we're going to put new seat belt bolts and stuff in it so we can put seat bolts in the back of it. But it's all looking pretty good, he's sitting there. So hopefully um, on Monday he'll uh, so we start to put the tubs back in it, weld the nose back in it, and then putting the uh, spacer in it and, and put our act together. Okay. It's got one welded in. Just need to give it a bit of a clean up. Hey. Hey, I'm Good. just just filming you. <laughs> it's coming along. Now my race works uh, uh, heat shield turned up. There it is. There, I've just put it over the uh, transmission cooler lines and then put them back on. That'll stop the heat from the extractors hurting them at all, so it, it'll stop them when they, if they rub on anything, um, stop them rubbing through. They're good protective as well. Um, got all the, the cables up away from the extractors over this side. I've got a, a bit of hard, uh, not sure if it's stainless, but it's very, very high tensile wire. And I coated it in heat shrink and I just bolted it on there and it pushes up and it pulls the... Uh, the uh, plug wires away from the extractors that's all it has to do that works well so that's it now I'm up to uh, fitting a battery in the boot and running some wires so there we go Rightio. underneath uh, we're going in in there run across there with some p-clips comes down um, I'll just turn this light on oh by the way um, I've got a new fluorescent king chrome light you might notice it's a little bit different colour to the last one, the blue one. Better ask Mick about that. Um, working on the Triton out there. Went for a road test. I think we left it underneath, so someone scored himself a light. So we went and bought a new and I've got a fluorescent green one, so Mick can't fucking lose it. <laughs> Rightio. So there we go. It's um, I've got it all wrapped up there. It's uh, hooked up there where the brake pipe goes. Comes down under here. Uh, I've got it P-clipped in uh, and zip-tied to the brake line and, and the, uh, the fuel pump wiring. And, uh, p clip there, comes across here, then it comes up here. And then I've got the Raceworks, uh, the heat shielding over it, and it runs up there past the transmission, then comes up the back of the block onto the starter motor so um, it's all it's got plenty of gap between the uh, the extractors 
uh, with that um, race works heat shielding it'll be fine so that's it for the battery that's all in um, slowly getting there we just I just gotta wait for Rick to come back uh, tomorrow and he's gonna um, put his body dead now all over the uh, the inserts he's uh, put the uh, the seam sealer in there so it seals up all the gaps um, then we can start putting the fuel tank back and the exhaust back on it and see if we can fit some wheels on it oh well good no. done tubs are in all finished off I've got to put the battery box in and me being a bit fucking anxious, didn't have the tank in it, and I've got to move it. Got to move it back fucking two inches. Now, yeah, well, them's the brakes. Shit happens. <laughs> so, um, we've just doctored it up. We're, we've got a show at Easter. Um, actually, I'll probably put this up. So, uh, the... Just hang we've got on a, a, uh, a car show at Easter um, on Good Friday and, the, and Saturday morning. We've got one for the, the Madura City Hearts put on, on a, a Good Friday uh, display, which they do every year. Um, they just got it approved. So we'll be down there on Friday morning. So if you all want to come down and grab a sticker and uh, check out the cars and the builds, we'll all be down there. Uh, I think it's from 8 to, to 1 or something like that, down at the Mildura City Arts. So all you local people or anyone that's travelling up to Mildura, Come and meet us and say hello, and you can check out the cars. What we've done is, um, Rick's under the pump. He's uh, done as much as he can um, to get this ready. Um, it's got to go back to him uh, after the show. So we've just uh, done a little bit of trimming here. Uh, trim the uh, inner guards out there and there so they don't hit the wheels. Cause... So that will... Uh, that will miss the tyre, I won't scrub on the tyre so we can drive it. So I've just, uh, at this stage, I've just got to fit the brakes up. Brad's uh, brought me back the wheelwood brake master cylinder. That's in. I've got to hook up uh, a biased, brake biased uh, switch, adjustable switch, this thing here. There it is. So I'm going to uh, put that in there somewhere like that, make a bracket up and bolt it to there, it'll go there somewhere like that, I think, and uh, we'll, uh, should be able to, we'll have some brakes, so we'll be able to drive it, we'll see how we go. Oh, maiden voyage, moves, and the same power, I haven't got the steer in the fucking column, cook hooked up, oh, oh. I better put a nut on there, hey, <laughs> just in case. Brakes aren't real good. Bit soft. Just there. Ah, uh, once the pads bed in, that'll be alright. No scrubbing in the rear. Geez, you can hear that fuel pump with no seat in the back. She's pretty loud. Got no fuel in it. Over the man out. Oop, there. We've got, got the boot. Oh, there's two gears. Yes, three gears. Well, auto works. It's good. She's rolling. She's rolling. Beauty. There we go. Maiden boys, you're not going to be fucking stupid in it. For once, trying to fucking control myself. Just want to take her up the road here a bit. Got plenty of oil pressure. Temperature's coming up. Good changes gears in there, and that's what I like. I'm happy with that. Is I might do a wheel on it. <laughs> well, there you go, maiden voyage. Woo! Brakes need a bit of work. That's all right. They'll be wrapped. Woohoo! <laughs> yep. Here right we are this morning.
just uh, putting uh, the VC on to do the exhaust and Brad's here, we're just mucking around with this as well. Took a bit of a drive last night as you've seen. Yep, just buttoning up a few things on the old girl. Give it a snap. Yeah. Right oh, no. Keep playing with it. Righty ho. She's done. We just took her for a, a quick road test. Uh, we do have a little bit of a scrape here at the back. Just we'll just have to give it a bit more. I reckon it's probably just touching there. We'll give that a bit more clearance. Um, put up there, give it a bit of clearance. But it's nearly ready for the show, so. See, everything's done. It drove really nice. Just got to get a, a, a new air cleaner for it. We just whacked that on it just for now. Um, it's all got coolant in it. No leaks. Pressure tested good. We tightened the belt up. The belt's nice and windy now. Brakes are working. Everything's good. So there you go. HT is complete. And we just need to give it a big tub. Um, and get it all the engine bay nice and clean. Ready for the uh, show and shine on Friday. So just reminding everybody again. On Friday here in Mildura, uh, Good Friday, we have uh, the show and shine down the street. Uh, cars and Things Restos will be there with all our cars except for the Brock. Um, the Brock will be uh, unveiled, we're hoping, Saturday at our uh, club's show and shine because um, uh, it can't go down the street. I think we can only have registered cars down there and the Brock's not registered. so. Uh, the VK, the VC Brock, I should say, I'm talking about the black VC we're doing. It will be out on Saturday. Um, I should put some shows up on that. Um, so if you're around in Mildura on fr Good Friday, come down and see us. Um, say hello, and we'll all see you then. So that's it for this episode. Thanks for coming along and watching. Please jump on and subscribe if you haven't, and hit the bell. Uh, and uh, we'll see you next time. Cheers. Rightio, we've got the, um, the boss doing a bit of work today. Um, he's helped me out put a um, time and chain kit in a VE Commodore, which is not really what we like to do. No, but, I fucking don't like working on new shit. I like working on old shit. But we will um, we'll have a bit of a crack at it, and we won't get too cocky because we haven't got it going again yet, so we'll wait and see what happens till we get the end result. And on yeah, that little bit, I better go and do you my wash little bit. That fucking shit for me yet? I better go and do that before I get Stop myself in the shit. And get that shit washed for me, will you? So, over and out, and we'll talk to you shortly. When it's running, hopefully. Right, guys. So, I replaced this Tom and Chain for Mick. And uh, we fired it up, and it's rattling its fucking head off. And uh, so I pulled it apart again this morning, and I found there's our problem there. Brand new fucking tensioner, not working. Look at that. So, there's our issue. Fucking spewing, so I'd fucking pull it all back apart just because of that bullshit. Anyway, we'll fix her up. A2 on a one day project. There we go, so put the old tensioner back in, bang, just fired her up, running perfect. Right, I want to show you what happened. So here's the, here's the tensioner. The new one. Grab them pliers down there, Mick. That's the brand new one, and that is just solid. I want you to see if you can pull that out. Let me get on the edge, so I can just just try and twist it. Look at that! That that oh. is oh, that, 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 don't go anymore because we'll be sending that back, and they can fucking give us warranty on that. That's bullshit. Anyway, that's the issue. So um, be aware of that, guys. If you're doing a V6 VE time and chain, uh, check your tensioners. I'm positive it popped out when I pulled the pin. We'll wait and see what happens till we get the end result. Oh, I'm fucking positive of that, but obviously it's no good. So it might have been my mistake. But anyway, here's what it is, eh, buddy? It's going, so we're happy. We'll finish <laughs> it off properly now. Righto.